I'm telling you. Like that's just be around people doing this business. Just be around these people doing this business. If you want to be around the most proactive, you know it. It's right here. Black Friday sale at rhinoblackfriday.com. Check it out uh, if you're interested in joining the mentorship. If you're interested in the five-course bundle for less than $100. That's crazy. I think I spent $100 on a sandwich the other day. Yeah. Feel like everything's expensive and seven dollars for the cold call and training uh, must have definitely check that out guys absolutely incredible speaking of puerto rico and joshua that was just on here in 15 minutes we're gonna have the incredible um the incredible jerry norton on here the flipping flipping mastery the flipping genius is going to be here in 15 minutes and guys stick around by the way you think this is just a four-hour show right after the four-hour show we Go right in. We smoothly dive in to your favorite, my favorite, and you know it, Wholesale Hotline. Absolutely incredible. Pace Morby, Jamil Damji, myself, maybe some guests. Who knows? Uh, Sip Rodriguez, great question. Brent, how do you get comfortable with the nose? Um, a couple different things, okay? First of all, I don't know if you really ever get comfortable. You just get thicker skin. And what I mean by that is, um, if you understand the metrics, if you understand that 199 people, this is statistics speaking, 199 people are going to tell you no, but one will tell you yes, and that one yes is worth $15,000. You know that. If you know that, then you're just, you're more focused on that one yes than you are the 199 no's. And it's just reps. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get it first off the bat. You're not gonna get it and feel perfect and flawless off the bat. You're not gonna feel super confident off the bat. But over time, you're gonna build it up. You're gonna build it up. You're gonna get build it up, and you're gonna get more comfortable with the nose. You are. I mean, maybe not more comfortable, but you'll have thicker skin. You'll just be focused on the yes. That's it. the The only issue you run into with the nose is you get almost like a reflex that you assume that the people are going to say no, but it's not the case. Absolutely not the case. Um, there will be people that want to do business. About one in 10 will tell you, how much will you give me? They'll tell you, yes, I do want to sell. If you're calling the right lists, right? And then out of those 20, one will, one will close. The other ones you got to follow up with. And there could be more, more in that one out of 200. But usually it's about one out of 200. So, I mean, the other 199 just don't need your service right now. Or they just don't need you right now. It's great. But one will. And that's really encouraging. So then it's just a numbers game. And I just knew, like, getting on the phone is a lot easier than being broke. It just is. Right, getting up and talking to strangers is a lot easier than being broke. When that when that deal closes and you get that wire in and you get that check and you get to put it in your account and you see it there and it breaks your brain. I'm telling you, Joshua, with that sixty five thousand dollar deal, that's brain breaking stuff. That's like holy cow! I can't believe it. First time that hits your account, I mean. You're just like, oh my gosh. You start thinking about money different. You start thinking about your business different. Start thinking about opportunities different. Right? And so break your brain. Go out there. Be brave. It's the whole courage thing, you know? You don't have to have courage when everything's going right. You don't have to get courage if you're not scared. You have courage when you are scared. And you do it anyway, right? That's That's been said since, I don't know, the dawn of poetry, I suppose. But that's that that's what it is. It's not the absence of fear. It's doing it otherwise in the face of fear. And that's really what it comes down to. Self-doubt. Self-doubt. Worried that you're not going to be able to do something right. Nathan, does the title company get 